Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mythical, everyone's favourite YouTuber, and today we're going to be talking about the YouTuber Samuel. If you don't know who Samuel is, Samuel is a YouTuber that makes commentary videos and shorts, and his main channel almost has 50k subscribers. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I have a couple of issues with Samuel myself, and I just want to let everyone know. I do hope Samuel doesn't take this video personally, because, you know, I don't actually hate the guy whatsoever. I just want to call him out on things what I think is wrong, and I hope he takes it well and actually listens to to me. But before the video starts, everyone watching this video right now is not subscribed to my channel, so make sure you subscribe to my channel right now and turn on all notifications on so you don't miss a video I upload. Well anyways, let's get right into this video. No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Well, fuck! Alright, so if you didn't know, Samuel mainly grew his channel off of shorts. A little like me, but of course I'm way better. If you didn't know, Samuel actually has another channel called Loomis, which is his most subscribed channel, with over half a million subscribers on it. When you're looking at his channel for the first time, you'll be like, damn, that's actually quite impressive. But if you actually look into it, then it's not that impressive whatsoever. So basically, there's no long form videos on the channel anymore, because there used to be some, but he took them down, because they all flopped. And the only content on the channel is YouTube Shorts. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't get you a fan base whatsoever because you're not posting any long form either. And it also doesn't help if you're posting seven shorts a day on the channel. I mean, why would you put yourself through that? Well, anyways, I know a little trick on how Samuel got over 500k subscribers. As a content creator, the way Samuel got that many subscribers is kind of disrespectful in a way. What Samuel did is basically re-upload other people's videos. Samuel would normally make a YouTube short roasting the YouTuber song, but sometimes he would just re-upload Song's whole YouTube short onto his own channel. I would understand if it was a one-time thing and it was by accident or you're just experimenting. Even if he did it twice or maybe three times, then I would understand. But no, you know how many times Samuel actually re-uploaded a YouTube short what isn't his? 21 fucking times and there's probably more out there what I haven't even counted yet. The majority of his most viewed videos aren't even his whatsoever, they're just re-uploads of other people's content. You know what, let's just watch one real quick just to prove it. We are now on his most popular channel, Loomis, and we're gonna check his most popular video because, you know, why not? Let's see if he actually does steal his videos. So, um, let's have a little look. Alright. Alright. Nothing happened yet. No? No? He's not coming? Okay, okay, yep. This is pure cancer, oh my god. Come on. See, he basically doesn't even do anything. He just re-uploads other people's content. I think the thing what annoys me the most about the situation was the way he acted after getting called out. I mean, have a look at the messages right here of him acting so childish and pathetic after getting called out. Like, who in their right mind would act like this? This is so sad. All you needed to do is admit that you're wrong and make it right. It's not that hard to do. But no, instead of that, you're acting like a man-child. And it just goes to show that you can't handle these type of situations. Especially when it looks bad on your part. It's a shame as well because I thought you were way better than this, but I guess I was wrong. You know what's really funny though? The fact that Samuel is so desperate for views on his main channel that he has to spam it in the community tab on his most subscribed channel. This is not the first time he has actually done this. He has also done it to the iDubs documentary as well he made. I don't know man, it just seems very sad and cringe. In my humble opinion of course. I did talk to Samuel in the middle of making this video about the whole re-uploading of a people's content thing. Samuel did say that he's no longer re-uploading other people's content on that channel anymore, which is a good thing I guess, but he shouldn't be doing it in the first place. But at least he's no longer doing it, which is better than nothing I guess. I don't know, I thought I would just show you guys. I guess you guys can come to your own conclusion on that point, I don't really give a shit. Well anyways, let's do something a little more fun and react to his YouTube shorts, the ones he doesn't re-upload. The main reason being, why not? Oh my ball doesn't fit! <gasps> I got it! Wait, so Zong, what you're saying is that you have big balls? I really don't like that zooming in and out effect. It just looks horrible in my opinion. If you're going to use a zooming effect, then at least make it look good. Oh, banana! Mm. 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 
banana? I'm sorry, who on earth eats a banana like that? Why are you talking like that in your YouTube shorts? I know for a fact that you never talk like this. You sound like someone who is homosexual trying to get other people to think that you're homosexual. Am I wrong to think that? Because that's the vibe I'm getting every time you speak on your YouTube short. Oh, my bag is locked! I got an idea! Zong who puts a lock on a plastic bag? Samuel, why do you sound like this? I'm actually begging you though, do not use that voice. Every time you talk like that in a video, it makes me want to play Russian roulette on single player. Dude, why does it look like you've just given Sloppy to Shrek? Okay, buddy, I did not want to pitch that in my head. Fuck you. You know what? I think we're done here now. Oh my god, that was horrible. The amount of brain rot I just got from that, I think I need to cure myself by watching Skibbity Toilet. Well, anyways, I'm going to be ending it here. I guess the conclusion to this video is that Samuel was very cringe. He did some fucked up things, but I hope he doesn't do them anymore. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, anyways, make sure you subscribe to this channel right now and turn on all notifications on so you stay notified when i upload a video and make sure you leave a like on the video too because that does help a lot make sure you follow my other social media accounts join my discord server and buy some of the merch all in the description and yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to say i hope i see you guys later and goodbye